So welcome back to the shop guys. So in the last video we got the glue up complete and behind me is the finished plane till. Today we're going to put all the finishing touches on it and I'll give you the full tour. So the glue set up all night and I took the clamps off this morning and now I'm ready to add the, the, the plane bed to the uh, till. I'm just going to use some little um, credit cards to to space the boards apart. I want to give them a little bit of room to uh, be able to expand with weather changes and humidity changes. So I'm just going to use these just to give a little bit of spacing in between each board. I believe it's fair to say that this turned into a pretty big project. But there was some method to my madness. I really wanted to use this project as a practice for making some more fine type furniture. I wanted to incorporate some different type of joinery, particularly the box joints and the dado joints. I wanted a nice plain till for the shop. I think it's inspiring to have something nice like this that when I go to grab one of my planes, you know, I can be proud of what I built. It also doesn't hurt that this wood was completely free and that it was pallet wood. So just to recap, all four corners are attached with box joints. The bottom shelves are attached together with glue and dado joints. The shelf is dadoed into the sides of the cabinet walls. The plain bed is just tacked down with some nails. And each of the plain dividers is just tacked down with nails as well and that will allow me to remove those and change out the layout from time to time if I choose to. 
The till is attached to the wall using a simple French cleat system and the French cleat was attached to the back of the cabinet using a dovetail joint. The plain bed supports are mortise and tenon into the sides of the cabinet and I even used some epoxy in a few spots just to fill some of the pallet wood defects. Well, this project is a wrap, guys. For those of you who made it through the whole series, I really appreciate that. I hope you learned something. I would definitely encourage you to build one of these for yourself. I think it's a really nice addition to the shop and a lot can be learned from building uh, a plain till like this. Before you go, my kids asked if they could make a little video of the chicken house, a little update on it. So check that out before you go. See you guys on the next one. Hi, and today we're gonna get some eggs. Let's go. <laughs> What? There's only one in this one, but there might be some over here. Hey, guys. Come on. Okay, guys, let's go. Whoa. Oh, yeah. So these are my chickies. This, um, um, I don't know what their name is. Um, that one is Brownie over there. He's very rude. Hi. And I want to show you. Well, me show him. Um, he's very smart, and he's like a blender. He just that's not chocolate. And a tip, do not feed your chick poops. Brought so yeah, hot. I got the jump on them. Oh. Who's oh. hungry now? <laughs>